right here has texted people without coming to me. Look, if he had a problem with my doctrine, shouldn't he have come to me? Yeah. Yes. Or should he be going behind my back and backbiting, going to other church members who never asked his opinion, mind you, never even asked and said, hey, uh, Chris, what do you think about Pastor Anderson's sermon? He just texts them because he saw them on YouTube defending me. So because they were on YouTube defending me, he takes it upon himself to rebuke them for the defending the pastor of his church, calls my statements wicked and evil. And listen, this you know, I know your your faggoty buddy Ashton Yakton lets everybody get up and say whatever they want. But in this church, it's not a free-for-all, it's not an open mic. You don't come to this church and pretend to be a faithful member of the church while you're going behind the pastor's back. Did you ever have the guts to confront me with that, Chris? Huh? Did you ever have the guts to confront me with that, Chris? No, you didn't. You didn't have the guts, you coward. You're like Judas. You want to go behind my back. I want you to get up and get out of this church right now. Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. Get out. What's that? Oh, Here's my big old brown. You're a Judas Iscariot. Railer. Railer. Yeah. The simulator. Yeah, backbiter. I don't care if you're saved or not. You don't come to this yeah. church and backbite the pastor without even having the guts to confront him yourself and go around and say all this stuff, huh? Why do you want to be here, Chris, if I'm tampering with the gospel? There are 40 other independent Baptist churches in this town that are King James only that don't, quote, tamper with the gospel. So why don't you go join one of them, Chris? Why are you even here? I think it's a great church. Oh, really? But the pastor makes wicked and evil statements and tampers with the gospel. That's not a great church, Chris. I agree with like 95% of what you say, but if I disagree with 5%, I don't think that's reason for me to... You're right. Disagreeing with, disagreeing with what I preach is not a reason to be kicked out. You're right. Because listen to me, no one in this church agrees with me on everything. And that's okay. Because we're all different, we all read the Bible, we all have the Holy Spirit. No two Christians are going to agree on everything. That's fine. No, pro I've had people come up to me and say, hey, I don't agree with this doctrine. I always tell them, that's okay. You don't have to agree with me. You're welcome to come here. But there's a big difference between not agreeing... And calling the pastors preaching wicked and evil and accusing him of tampering with the gospel behind his back without ever bringing that to me. Do you see the difference, Chris? I see the difference Get out of here, idiot. Pick him up and take him out if you won't leave. You need to pray for him. This is not Pick him out. Hey, get out of here. I didn't ask you. You've never even been here, fool. Get out. Get out. Get out. You don't just walk in here and start telling us how to run the church. We got a bunch of filthy faggots out there protesting us right now. We're in a battle right now. Get out of here. You need to ask your advice. Pick him up and get him out of here if you won't leave. Yeah, that's fine. Take your time. Now look, if I, I will listen to people who actually are members of our church, who actually attend here, not a first-time visitor. Yeah. Does somebody, if somebody thinks that there's a reason why they should be allowed to stay, let me know. Because I, I see it as just pure evil to come to a church and sow these kind of lies about the pastor without even coming to the pastor one time. Amen. Yeah. And even telling him that you have a problem. Just going behind his back. I just can't think how a normal person would go to a church... And he already knew that I believed all that when he came to this church. Right. Yeah. And look, if, if people are going to go behind the back and backbite and be a Judas and make railing accusations, this is what's going to happen. And it's okay to disagree. And I don't want, and look, I, know, I already know that there's people that are going to go out of here and lie about me and say, oh yeah, anybody who disagrees with Pastor Anderson gets thrown out. Anybody who says that is a liar. That yeah. is not true. You do not get thrown out for disagreeing. You get thrown out for going behind people's back and trying to split the church and for rebuking people just for defending the pastor and and insulting all of us. He didn't just insult me. Anybody Who, who supports me on the doctrine of the Sodomites? Okay, well, you know what? He insulted all of you because he said that everybody, he even used the word everybody is just quoting Pastor Anderson and they're not quoting the Bible. That's what he said. I've seen the text message with my own eyes. He even admitted that he did it. And so, and if you're, if you're, if this makes you squeamish, then you know what? Go find another church. That's fine. This church is in a battle right now. If you want to go to a church that never has any fights or battles and where the police never show up, I'll help you find one. 
And I don't desire, look, I'm for peace, but when I speak, they're for war. I'm not trying to pick fights. I didn't invite those people out there to scream the F word at me as I walked into church this morning. And I didn't invite people to come here in their pajamas every Sunday morning and go around telling everybody what a bad preacher I am. Without even having the guts to one time in a year, one time come up to me and say, Pastor Anderson, you're preaching false doctrine. That would have been the right thing to do. Right. But that, that would come from a heart of sincerity. But an insincere heart just wants to go around and yeah. stab you in the back. And listen to me. Let me tell you something. If people are texting you how bad I am, you should bring that to my attention, and I'll do the same thing for you. It's not just because I'm the pastor. If somebody texts me how bad you are, the first thing I'm going to do is come to you and let, hey, did you know that that you're being accused of X, Y, and Z? That's just ethics. Right. That's just common courtesy. So look, if, if there's people that you know about who are going around and spreading lies or slander or just, you know, that they, that they think that the preaching is evil and wicked, somebody needs to come tell me that. And you know what? If somebody comes, and I'll make a covenant with you, if somebody comes to me and says that you're evil and wicked, I'll bring that to you. Because we shouldn't be backbiting anyone in the church, right. but yeah. least of all the pastor. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we shouldn't be backbiting anybody in the church, right. and we shouldn't be falsely accusing anybody in the church. And if you don't like this church, you don't have to come here. Right. If you, you know, you can go wherever you want. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and sing one more song. And I'm sorry, to, you know, those that are new and those that are visiting, our church is not normally like this. <laughs> All right, this, this look, I promise you, Amen. stuff like this happens like once every two or three years. Yeah. Right? Am I telling the truth? Yeah. yeah. Regulars? Okay. So you just happen to show up on that Sunday morning. <laughs> All right? You know, and, and honestly, this whole week has been like this. Yeah. You know, we're getting persecuted on all sides, but you know what? I've not yet begun to fight. Amen. Amen. Amen.